Hi, this is Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and I'm here to share the magic of deriving the 1D kinematic equations for constant acceleration from a single velocity time graph. I'll start with a very simple VT graph with constant velocity, then constant non-zero acceleration. I can tell because the slope of this part doesn't change, then a different constant velocity. I'll call the initial velocity vi, the final one vf, and I'll label the start and end times for the acceleration phase as ti and tf. Then we get delta t is equal to tf minus ti, and delta v is equal to vf minus vi. For the first equation, I start with the definition of average acceleration, which is delta v over delta t. Here, the acceleration is constant. It has the same slope throughout this phase, so the average acceleration is equal to the constant acceleration. Expanding delta v gives vf minus vi over delta t, and then I just rearrange to isolate vf, getting the first equation. vf is equal to vi plus a delta t. For the second equation, I use the area of the vt graph to get displacement, delta x. The area between ti and tf has two pieces, a rectangular piece with area vi delta t, and a triangular piece with area of one half of vf minus vi times delta t. Then I expand the brackets and simplify to get the second equation, delta x is equal to 1 half vi plus vf times delta t. For the third equation, I substitute the first into the second to get delta x is equal to 1 half of vi plus vi plus a delta t times delta t, and then simplify to get the third equation, delta x is equal to vi delta t plus 1 half a delta t squared. For the fourth and last equation, I first isolate delta t in equation 1, getting delta t is equal to vf minus vi over a, and then substitute that into equation 2. Delta x is equal to 1 half vi plus vf times vf minus vi over a. These terms are all multiplied, so I move the a beside the 2, and then expand, simplify, and eventually isolate vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2a delta x. We don't typically think of graphs as being cool, but maybe we should. This is really neat. These equations are all derived from one simple VT graph. Probably the most important thing to remember from here is that these equations are only valid for constant acceleration. If the acceleration was not constant, I would have obtained a completely different set of equations. I sure hope this was helpful to you. If so, please like this video to let me know. Good luck with physics!